Welcome to an example of column division, also known as sharing or grouping division. We are given the quotient 825 divided by 6. We will view this quotient as $825 divided by 6 and interpret the meaning as having $825 as 8 $100 bills, 2 $10 bills, and 5 $1 bills, which because we are dividing by 6, we want to share equally among six friends. To begin, we write the quotient in long division form. We have the dividend of 825 divided by 6. And now we'll place each digit in the dividend in a column. We have a column for the 8 in the hundreds place value, a 2 in the tens place value, and a 5 in the ones place value. And now to begin sharing the $825, we first share the eight $100 bills among the six friends. Because we have eight $100 bills, we know we can give each of these six friends one $100 bill. We record a one in the quotient above the eight. If we give each of the six friends one $100 bill, we will give out six $100 bills, which we record below the eight. Also notice one times six is six. And now we subtract eight minus six is two, this two indicates we still have two $100 bills, but because we cannot share these equally among the six friends, we perform an exchange. Each $100 bill is equal to 10 $10 bills, and therefore we exchange these two $100 bills for 20 $10 bills, and we already have two $10 bills, so now we have a total of 22 $10 bills, which we want to share equally among the six friends. And because six times three is equal to 18, we know we can give each of the six friends three $10 bills. We record a three in the quotient. Notice how we could not give each of the six friends four $10 bills because four times six is 24, and we only have 22 $10 bills. If we give each of the six friends three $10 bills, we give out 18 $10 bills, which is also three times six. We record the 18 and subtract. 22 minus 18 equals four. We have four remaining $10 bills, which because we cannot share equally among the six friends, we perform another exchange. Each $10 bill is equal to 10 $1 bills, and therefore we exchange these four $10 bills for 40 $1 bills. We already have five $1 bills, so now we have 45 $1 bills. We want to share these 45 $1 bills equally among the six friends. Seven times six is 42, so we can share seven $1 bills with each of the six friends. Notice how six times eight is 48, and therefore we cannot share eight $1 bills with each of these six friends. So we will share seven $1 bills with each of these six friends. We record the seven. If we share seven $1 bills with six friends, we will give out 42 $1 bills, or also because seven times six is 42, and we subtract, the difference is three. This three indicates we still have three $1 bills, which we can not share equally among these six friends, and therefore we have a remainder of three. So this quotient indicates each of the six friends will receive $137, and there will be $3 remaining. Or 825 divided by six equals 137 with the remainder of three. I hope you found this helpful.